everyone, it's Liam Catterson here and we're reacting to Once Upon a Time as we enter episode number 10 of season number one. We are entering double digits for this show and um, yeah, I'm excited to check this episode out as I am with Once Upon a Time. It's such a captivating show and I really, really am loving the journey so far and it was a very fun adventure last time around with the focus on Hansel and Gretel and of course... Um, Looking at their storybook versions, we had them on the brink of being separated until their father, uh, who was very, very reluctant on embracing them, intervened, and uh, happily ever after, hopefully. So, yeah, but we ended on a very, very curious case with um, this stranger entering storybook, and um, it was very, very perplexing for Henry because it seems like there's no recognition to his character. And I've made theories, but... Like I said, I think there's a bit of a dent in the works in terms of those theories. So it will be very, very interesting to see what he has in store, uh, especially since he isn't supposed to enter Storybrook, uh, seemingly, uh, by Henry's case. So, um, yeah, but um, it will be very, very interesting. Uh, but yeah, with that said, let's jump into episode number 10 of season one of Once Upon a Time. Let's go. In Storybrook. Just visiting. What's that? A box. Yeah, what That's is that? Edit. Just something I need to do what I came here for. This guy is awfully oh, I sus. You were just visiting. Doesn't mean I don't have something to do. Hmm. So the volcano thing was an excuse? One cream and sugar, one black. Thank you. Mm, my heart is screaming. Love's the worst. I wish there was a magic cure. Oh. Is that? Hey. Oh, no. It's me. The red. So all I do is think about it. I'm sorry. And he's not really comfortable, is he? to get him out of my head. Oh, uh oh. What is there? Of course not. That would red. What do you know? You lie. You lie. Come on, I helped you when no one else would. What do you know? Problem. We can't be together. Well, that I can help you with. Oh, yeah. boy. He is unhinged. Creeps me out. That'll do it. Not yet. No two loves are exactly Need seasoning. Like. Now it's been plucked from your head. Do we have a deal? Stop! Stop! So. Drink it in good health. Snow White. Why is he terrified? Why is he creepy? Why? Why is he like this? Oh, no, no. Oh boy. I trust you'll be discreet. Their lives are their business, not yours. Oh, Snow. There is too much at stake. Do whatever it takes to get that woman out of your head. Oh, and the both. Nothing is going to stop this wedding. This is it. This is it, though. Snow and Charming. Both. Back in difficult situations. I don't need your help, David. I'll be fine. Oh. I I don't like how my heart is taking taking a battering right now. Because there's complications for both stories and. If you're looking to blame me for the storm, I think you're taking things a bit far now. I need you to look into something, <laughs> Sheriff. Really? Really? Wait, I am a royal emissary. 
Sure you are. Uh, your face. What do you know about it? That's why I'm stuck in this hole. Oh. Well, at least you got bad. something relatable. She was beautiful as a fairy, but I lost her. I was desperate to get her back. Should have known better. But I wasn't thinking clearly, all because of love. Oh, my, my heart! I and feel so bad I for Gruffy. With no way out. I know a way out. Stealthy. You ready to go home? Don't you get Stealthy? Saving her like in the fairy tale events with the kiss. You really think I let you come out here alone? Oh. You okay? Halt! Those two oh. are prisoners. Run. We can make it. Stealthy, no! No, stealthy! Because that explains why. It's not one of the Where is the girl? Seven. What girl? Kill him. Say, so you're gonna have to barge it down. So otherwise, you're just gonna die of like hypothermia, and it's like uh, Oh, they go to like okay. have a bake out here. Let's get you drunk. The reason I go to Granny's every morning at 7:15 is to see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 please, oh. What about Catherine? Does she think she's? Pregnant? She said they're meant to be as well, isn't it? It's. What? Oh boy. Oh, my heart is like conflicted. But so will your frustration, never knowing, only guessing what could possibly be inside that box. He's pushing his luck. Or. He is very mischievous. You could. I'm a writer. That's why you're here. I find this place provides inspiration. Hmm. But what is it? Is it magical? Is Wait. I Have you been here before? I didn't say that. What's going on? These two conflicting lives. Memories of feelings for her and real feelings for you. Oh. Say which is real. Yeah, like, this is it. There's that no, conflict of who too, he was before the brain to. loss and we're just going that memory to loss. Forget each other. I'll kill him. Killing you would just make him love you more. And the marriage and the kingdom would ultimately crumble. You son of a bitch! An assassin's hand, he would die a martyr. Midas would forgive even Lord the death. And the merger would be you, Oh, I'm done with him. Like, you would do that to your own son. Yeah. He's not my son. We can leave all this. I know there are costs, but I plan for everything. They can't hurt us. And now that I know that you love me too. I don't. Oh. Love you. I don't. I'm sorry. Well, you I said think I my heart. Your heart. I hope that I hope King Asshole is pretty happy with himself. Screw him. I don't Anything like you want him. To tell me? What do you mean? But I want to fix this. I want to fix us. Me too. Still conflicted, but... Do you? Well, then let's go see Dr. Hopper. Let's get some help. Will you do that? Ooh. Will you give us our best shot? 
Yeah. You can see she's trying. I don't want my pain erased. As wretched as it come is, at... I need my pain. It makes me who I am. Oh, wow. It makes me grumpy. Look around, Snow. It's very, very You're powerful. You're not alone anymore. I promise you that's all the cure you need. If the pain's too much... Do you hear me? Your Prince Charming isn't getting married. Who? Thanks for I mean, it all went well, but still. She's not pregnant. See, this is it, though. I feel bad inside because Catherine is trying her best, bless her heart, but... As David said, he is living two lives and he can't differentiate which one is... Is... Yeah. And not just that, though, but... Snow and Charming, and them two are meant to be, so... Oh boy, here we go, I'm happy, I'm, I'm, see, this is it, I, I feel bad, in a, like, I feel bad, but I also feel happy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that had me pulled all over the place emotionally because there was the, there was frustration, there was joy, there was confusion because, especially with Mary and David kissing, it's like you want them to be a thing, you want them to be a couple. They have feelings for each other, and um, you know. For David, he's been stuck in these two different realms. Memories of what he felt for Catherine, and he's wanting to try and make this work. But he's also tackling these new feelings ever since he awoken. Which is a nice parallel to... It is now a stronger parallel with... Like, I think I've made mention about the fact that there is a good parallel with... David waking up and, you know, he, it, 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 it's kind of similar to how Charmin would wake up Snow in the coffin. But now there's a stronger emphasis on that because we saw by the end of the um, fairy tale events, uh, flashbacks in this episode, that Snow did take the forgetting potion and thus had no idea who Charming is. Um, and the next time she, of course sees Charming, which is when he wakes her up, um, that's when, you know, things start sailing between the pair, it seems. So, yeah, uh, I am really curious to see, you know, I, I think it, it was the fact that it was like, I don't know, love at first sight, or it, it would be in her perspective. He knows Snow White, but she doesn't know him and it's that love at first sight uh in her perspective so yeah um and there is that like parallel to storybrook that you know you had Ka uh, mary and uh david they tried okay well we'll distance uh, uh, ourselves from each other but they can't help it it's it's like that for snow she can't help uh like no forgetting potion is going to wash away um charming she can't help it, kind of like how Mary and uh, David can't help how they feel for each other. So, I think that's how it's go uh, going to work. Like, even though she took the potions, uh, and then, like, this is what I was talking about. We know how things turn out for, for them, of course, in uh, episode one, but it still stinks. The feelings still hit me like a train, so... um. 
and of course we know that they will end up being together and I think it's that case of love at first sight in her perspective and no amount of forgetting magic etc will um will stop them they will always find a way to each other and to each other's hearts and the storybook version uh the the story uh, the storybook events uh, kind of gave credit to that they can distance uh, themselves but they will always bump into each other they will always intersect and you know they will be a thing so i just do feel so bad for Catherine because she is trying um and you know i really respect the fact that she want uh, that she was kind of happy because she wanted to focus on on their marriage and and she wants to be in that position where she can have children etc uh, she wants to give this a shot. It's just the f it's just the issue is that David he is living in two different worlds. As he said, he he's relying on on memories of feelings for Catherine, but he's also juggling um, feelings, uh, current feelings he has for Mary Margaret. So uh, that's why I'm conflicted because I do love the prospect of Mary Margaret and David Snow and Charming. But yeah, um, so, and, and this is it, like, uh, Catherine is completely different, um, to Abigail, I think she's called, yeah, um, because she was a, she, she was, well, she was ruthless, she was, um, quite, you know, um, snippy to charming as we saw in the episode six flashbacks yeah she was um pretty pretty snippy to him so um whereas there's a more relaxed version with Catherine. so yeah and and she like i said she's trying her best but yeah um but yeah i really loved this episode love the focus on snow and charming um days it seems after their meeting in episode three and there was that hint that, you know, there was something blossoming between both characters. That's where it all started. And then in this episode, we saw a continuation of that where, you know, Charming was not too jubilant about the fact that he was getting married. So uh, because his heart was uh, belonging to another and uh, we had um, Snow's plan to try and get to um to to see him etc but that got compromised because king george is a see you next tuesday i hate him i freaking hate him because there there he was not just echoing rumple's um sentiments about love being a disease but um threatening to kill charming because of snow and snow doing the admirable thing the the hard thing but it, i mean she loves him so she can't let him die yeah freeze okay there we go um but that was a perfect screenshot of like my sentiments to king george who i don't care about he sucks um, I mean, you you saw his reaction to to um, Charmin when he was very conflicted regarding um, his feelings, and he essentially had that, you know, straighten him out. You're marrying Abigail, no questions asked. Screw your happiness. Um, but I really loved the dwarf's perspective as well in this story as well, because we had the secret member of the dwarfs with Stealthy. Um, and I was like, wait, he wasn't one of the seven dwarfs. And uh, we now know why, because... So, yeah. Um, but I really do, do love how that builds uh, a bridge between... Well, not just the fact that Snow saved Grumpy, but how pain deals, uh, does build a bridge between uh, the dwarfs and Snow White. And this was a nice origin story to for uh, it was it was a pretty um like vastly different and more tragic I I think yeah a more tragic way of uniting the dwarfs and snow. Um but it really is strong. 
the fact that um, they are utilizing that pain to be who, like, this is it. Like, um, there is, there is pain when it comes to love, whether it's losing someone uh, like the dwarfs did, or if it's the fact that you can't, uh, like, you, well, I'd say go through the uh, a similar scenario um, as Snow did, but not just that though, but like your heart being broken, like there is, there is that aspect of uh, pain in love that some people want to forget, like Snow tried to forget about um, charming to make things a lot more easier. But, you know, it's not, like, not everyone, you know, is forced to admit that they can't, uh, well, is forced to tell the other that they can't be in love with them. But there is huge aspect of, of pain related to love. Um, like having your heart crushed by someone because they've either cheated on you or they've broken your heart. They've, um, you've, you've built such a strong connection to that person for them to, um, for them to shatter it. And, um, I've been in that scenario before where I've felt love and been betrayed by it. And it's... There are there have been all uh, quite a few points in my life where the pain has become so much for me, and uh, you know I just wish to gloss over it. But it does strengthen you as well, as as uh, Grumpy said. It 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 builds us like it it's it's a it's a fight, but it's a fight that really does build layers in you. I feel, and I feel like I have grown a bit stronger with. Um, um, love hurting me because especially with my last uh, relationship um, where it ended in a, a similar rate, uh, way to the rest it ended on hurt but um, yeah it, it wasn't as severe in my feelings and I don't know if that's because it was uh, a lesser impact it might have been a combination of both but it i don't know if it was a lesser impact compared to the other times i've been hurt in a relationship or if it's because of the fact that the pain that i've um suffered from the breakup of previous relationships have built me uh, have built me but it still sucked and um yeah i do feel like there's there's a very very strong sentiment to how pain does build a, a a character uh, it's it is hard it is hard to go through but it does i feel like help um make you a bit stronger and uh whether it's love related or whether um i mean this is it like the dwarfs will build a very very stronger connection with snow white um with pain bringing them together as well i f i feel like um pain does help builders it's it 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 hurts to go through it's a fight to go through but it can build us to be the uh, stronger characters so uh, i really felt some um strong emphasis in grumpy's message but he had a very very uh, tragic story especially with how love um hurt him as well so um yeah, I've really, really liked the emphasis on Grumpy's story and, like I said, the union of Snow and the Dwarf. So it was really, really um, great stuff. And then, and how that links to the last episode, because I'm sure when uh, the Queen was analysing Snow, like when she was perplexed about the idea that she was with the Dwarfs, uh, that was a set, the same shot. So, yeah. Um, and by that time, she got herself the apple. So, ooh. Um, but yeah, it was a really good episode. Uh, I loved the parallels and the transitions that applied in this episode. There were some really, really nice transitions that went by. Um, as well as how Mary was there for the for the dove. Like, Snow White was an animal person anyways. Um, but there's also that, like... There's also that little, like... Um, relation to 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 mary about how i feel like she can't be with anyone but david and 
the, I think the dove is kind of a, like a nice representation. Like um, there's that loneliness and she uh, like she needs to be with the, uh, the, the dove needs to be with the flock otherwise. And the flock, I feel like represents David. Um, otherwise she will be alone. And that's it with Mary. I, f I feel like, like we saw her um, on a date with Dr. Whale, I think he was called. And uh, we don't, we don't, we don't do that, do we? So, no, but um, as evidence, she, she only feels for David. So I feel like there's a nice bit of represent uh, representation there. Uh, might be stretching things a bit, but... Um, I do see it with the with the flock being David and that lone dove being Snow. Like she will only be lonely if she's not with the flock, and that's with and, that, and that's it with Mary. I don't feel like she can be with anyone else but David. So yeah, um, but yeah, it was uh, a really good episode. I really uh, liked, of course. I love focus on on Snow and Charming, um, as well as David and Mary. Um, but I really, really love their focus because, you know, they just, they just get at my heart. So yeah. Um, and like I said, whilst it was very heartbreaking and, um, agonizing to witness snow go through with the potion and, and the complications that would arise with, with, um, snow and charming story, we know what happens in the end, of course, with episode one, um, but it still it still hurts to go, to to see happen if you get what I mean. So, yeah, um, I do like how the potion also parallels to David as well because of course the impact of the potion, um, would be that Snow forgets David, uh, not David, uh, charming, um, but it does relate to David because of course, David would have that um that confusion um and he would struggle to remember uh catherine so i feel like there's there's some connective well i wouldn't say there's some direct connectivity but in terms of like parallels there is that connection with the potion uh, affecting snow and um how david would forget and try to rebuild his life with Catherine. But again, we're at that um, struggle where he is relying on memories of his feelings of, of, of his life with Catherine and uh, current feelings with, with Mary Margaret. So yeah. Um, but I really, really also liked the uh, bit with the stranger as well. We got some more information regarding him that he is a writer apparently, and um, he is fascinated by um, storybook. But he has, uh, but it seems like he he's indicating he's never been there before. And I'm just really curious about what the heck is going on with this dude because I don't know. I don't trust him, and. You know, he, he's trying to give a, a nice convincing story that he he means well, his bike broke down, and I can buy that. I just don't trust his vibe whatsoever. He is, oh, but um, he's already leaving a very, very intriguing um, uh, presence. So, yeah, um, I really liked, uh, I really, really liked, um, uh, The Strangers, um, contribution in this episode so yeah but um yeah um a very intriguing episode that had me very well had me all over the place emotionally because i felt anger with the king screw him um i felt conflict because i was happy for like um mary and david but also i do feel for catherine and you know your heart is getting broken with the pros like you know what happens with snow and charming but it's still breaking with the prospect of of how snow had to say what the king um told her to say uh and you and they didn't want uh, she didn't want to say it and uh not just that though but the forgetting potion that she took forgetting charming 
yeah, it was a it was a it was a roller coaster. So yeah, but um, it did make for a very interesting episode. Uh, definitely. So yeah, um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!